there are so many AI copywriting tools out there and I've tested the majority, but they all have the same problem. But what if I told you that I finally found one which are formatting lists and tables and highlighting important parts of sentences to improve readability. Say hello to Koala. When we first saw GPT-3 surface a couple of years ago, it was super exciting because now we could use AI to generate content. But looking back at GPT-3, now that we have GPT-4, then GPT-3 was super generic in the content. And GPT-4 can still be generic to some extent if you don't give it the right prompts. But GPT-4 at least allows us to create more sophisticated articles with much more inputs and much more guidance on how we want all of these articles to be generated. But there is still one problem I see with all AI copywriting tools. And that problem is that the AI copywriting tools just generate content. They don't think about the reader. They don't make it easy to read the article. They just generate blocks of content. But Koala is completely opposite of this. It's a high focus for them to generate content and generate articles that are easy to read. And this they do when they highlight important parts of a sentence. They format lists, they format tables and so much more. They even do very short paragraphs. And overall then Koala is divided into two separate modules. You have Koala Chat and you have the Koala Writer. The Koala Chat I primarily use for ideation. So here I go in and I get ideas for YouTube titles or titles for an article that I want to write. You can also with the Koala Chat ask it to use real-time data. And this is really cool because with real-time data you can access data after 21 where ChatGPT falls a little bit short here. You just need to be aware that sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get an answer from the chat. But overall, this is a really nice feature. And now for the Koala Writer, which is where I use the majority of my time using Koala. With this Koala Writer, you can do everything from writing an article completely basic, but you can also take a YouTube video and turn into an article. And this is actually their newest edition. It's super simple to use. You just enter your URL to the YouTube video, and then Koala Writer will automatically pull the transcript from that YouTube video and combine it with what target keyword you have set for the article and then combine it even further with all of the SERP results data out there and then put it together into an article. And what is so cool about this is that you already get all of your personal experience into the article. You don't have to add that afterward because it's taken from the YouTube video. And that's one feature that makes me super excited about using Koala Writer. They also have two other different types of article types. They have an Amazon product roundup, which is also super unique because with this roundup, you can enter a search URL from Amazon. You can enter your affiliate ID and then based on these two elements and a target keyword, you can generate an entire article. And with this article, Koala Writer will automatically put in your affiliate ID into the links that are linking to the products and you can choose what types of product needs to be chosen from the search URL that you have already entered. Of course, Koala Writer will automatically take some of the products that Koala Writer thinks are most important for the target keyword, but you can simply go in into the outline editor and change what you want to change. And the last article type is a blog post. This one is just super generic and you can use it for almost anything. And it is the article type that I use the most when I use Koala Writer. It works very well. But when you have chosen your article type, you also need to choose your GPT version. Here I will always recommend that you use GPT-4. It does use five times as many words as GPT-3.5, but it's really worth it. You can really see a big difference in the articles generated with GPT-4 and with GPT-3.5. It's much more sophisticated. It's much better formatted in the list and specific words are highlighted. It is very well worth it. Now with the article type chosen, you can now choose your optimization level. And here SEO optimized works perfectly. The same with tone of voice. Again, I will recommend you to use AI SEO optimized. It just works well. And based on my own experience, this is where I received the best results. And lastly, one of my favorite features when I generate these articles is point of view. Because I want the article to 
feel when you read it that it's written for you and only you. And that's why I always choose second person as the point of view for why and how the article is written. After this, then you can further optimize the article where you choose whether you want to include an FAQ section. We also have the advanced section where you can choose specific prompts for your outline. You can choose specific prompts for your title and you can choose to include key takeaways. And I'll always recommend you to include key takeaways because the way that Google is working now is that they just want to give the answer to the searcher as fast as possible. So if you have key takeaways in your article that gives the answer away, that is a huge bonus for Google. And that is something that will help your article to rank higher because the searcher is getting the answer fast. Another thing is that you can choose the country that you're targeting with your article. And of course, you can choose the language that you're writing the article in. With all of these settings set, it's now time for you to generate the article. And here, before you actually generate the article, you need to choose your outline and always look through the outline and then compare it to maybe the top three on the target keyword and ensure that you have all of their sections in your article as well. And then of course, add to the article if possible, add your own experience and add your own sections that you know are important for this specific target keyword. And when you're done with your outline, then it's time to create the article. So now you just generate the content and then you just see it being written out by Koala Writer. And overall, the content is very good. I'm very pleased with the content. The only things that I'm missing is a shorter introduction. Often it becomes very long. And if you're not using key takeaways, it becomes even longer. But with key takeaways, it's usually two or three very long paragraphs. I would shorten down the introduction a lot to maximum two short paragraphs where I explain, of course, what the article is with a hook. And then I add my own expertise to answer why I can answer this question that this article is answering. And then overall, the article is great. But remember, you should never ever just generate and publish the article. You should always add your own expertise to the article. But what you can do from here, which I really like, is that you can either create a draft in WordPress directly if you have connected your WordPress website, or you can copy it and paste it into an NLP editor such as Phrase or Surfer SEO. And I always do the last thing. I always want to optimize my article as much as possible. And I will always recommend you to do the same as well. Of course, if you have a WordPress plugin that can help you with that, then it's very easy to use the integration to WordPress. But otherwise, I will always recommend you to copy and paste it into an NLP editor and then make sure that you're using all the right keywords for your target keyword because there are a lot of subtopics that you need to cover as well. And it's also another way to see if you're covering all the sections that Google are actually looking for. So just to circle back to the introduction, Koala Writer is great at generating high quality articles that are easy to read with highlighted words, lists and tables as well. And Koala Writer, you can get started completely free using GPT 3.5. If you want to use GPT 4, then you have to use their pay plan, which comes in at $9 for 15,000 words. Just be aware that if you're using GPT 4, then it costs five times the word amount. So usually with the $9 plan, you will have enough for two decent articles because a decent article is often somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 words. If they get longer than that, of course, it requires a lot more work also from you. And if they get shorter than that, then it's just a little bonus for you when you generate your articles using Koala Writer and GBT4. And then they're working on a lot of great features for the future, such as auto-generated meta descriptions and auto-suggested images and videos for your article as well. But another thing that I'm super excited for is internal link building they will try to automate this process and they have already automated the process where we take our affiliate ID and add to the Amazon links. So I'm sure they can solve the internal link building as well. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Maybe we have to submit our sitemap because they need to somehow understand what our content is about in order to link the right articles to each other. But I haven't seen anyone do this, especially not AI copywriting tools. So it'll be so interesting to see how they will solve it. And I hope they will use AI because then we get so much more data and so much more input into how to do the internal link building. 
I want to give Koala four and a half stars. This is close to perfection with AI copywriting, but the introduction is still a little bit too long and sometimes I did find it write redundant content. But if you want to see a comparison video between Phrase, Koala Writer and Server SEO, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.